It's a new day. We tried to go watch the new Top Gun film, but it's not in cinemas anymore because... Oh my god, it's July! It is July, yeah. Happy July. Happy July. It's the 1st of July today, just realised. Just putting some lip scrub on, ready for the day. This is the best lip scrub in the world. That might be an exaggeration, it might not be the best. It's the um, pear flavour that the body shop came out with at Christmas. I bought like all the soaps and all the things from that collection. A pear soap, a pear hand soap from the Christmas collection that I haven't used. It's unopened and it's in a box waiting for me to one day ever settle down. That's not happening soon. It is the 1st of July, which I've just realised, which is crazy. I've got a new little top on that I got from Kiddo. Did I, did I film that? Anyway, I've got some shorts and I've got this little t-shirt. I don't want to burn my shoulders, so I thought covering my shoulders was a good idea. I washed my hair last night and instead of plaiting it, I actually dried it with the hotel hair dryer that I found. It took me about an hour. We went to sleep at maybe 1 or 2 a.m. Um, but I've been growing out my hair for three years something ridiculous like that. Um, I cut off all my hair to about here. It was literally like shaped like that a few years ago, maybe three years ago. And ever since then I've had extensions twice and I've been growing out my hair and air drying my hair when it's short just is not, oh, using a hair dryer just doesn't work. My hair always looks ridiculous. But now that it's got some length to it, it just kind of falls like all right and now i have hair that i could just dry and it's like kind of wavy i um couldn't be missing my dyson air wrap more it is a godsend i miss it so much it was oh, one of my favorite things i don't actually know how i'm living without it um i know that they're ridiculously overpriced it was a present i don't think i could justify buying it myself but the amount of time it saves for me I miss it, I miss it so much. Plan for the day, which has kind of changed up a bit because we need to take all of this, what's, that's our washer. You say this to the post office. We're gonna send a big parcel or a smaller parcel as we can get home with all the souvenirs and things we've picked up in Vietnam. Um, and we also have two bags of clothes that we're sending back, which just shows that no matter like what you do, you always pack the wrong things. So we're sending home um, jumpers, joggers, t-shirts we're not wearing, two dresses that I just don't like and I don't know why I brought, so it's no point as lugging all of this around. Um, so it's already lightened up our backpack so much and we're gonna use it to wrap up some of the delicate items we've brought. I wanna go and pick up a Starbucks cup, obviously. I've already bought the Vietnam Starbucks mug um, because I collect the country mugs because I'm a basic white girl. But my uncle does it as well, so I feel like it's fine. This shirt is not flat and I think I need it to, I think I need an iron, but, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. I've got my blue shorts on, which I really like. Very base. oh, look, it's not sitting. Stay down, stupid shirt. I just had it washed, so it's, uh, it's not, it's not flat. My first favourite is Aquafina, big ups. I have so much to say about water bottles or bottled water, but that conversation is long and is for another day. It's probably a bit boring. And it's probably a bit boring. I've just seen a load of, I saw a TikTok the other day, I'm gonna talk about it really quickly, of this woman who clearly has a lot of money, was complaining about the price of bottled water at a restaurant and how she spent like a hundred quid on bottled water while she was at the restaurant spending thousands at a really nice restaurant in LA. And you know what, fair enough, spending a hundred dollars on a bottle of water is ridiculous, but you're in America or you're in the UK where you can drink tap water, just drink tap you water. Drink tap water in America. Yeah, it's one of, it says it's better than our water. They have a great water system. Why are you spending a hundred dollars on water bottles? at a restaurant and complaining about it just drink the tap water you're lucky enough to live somewhere that you can drink the tap water 
It's ridiculous. Why are you laughing at me? Yeah, you felt so strong. I felt really strongly about this. You live in a country where you're blessed enough to drink tap water. Drink tap water. Don't spend money on plastic bottles. Whereas people who live in countries that we're visiting currently can't drink the water. You have to drink bottled water. So I feel like there's a line. Just, just moving on. Lavi's all right. <laughs> Aquafina is my favourite, but I haven't seen a Fiji water this entire time, and I don't think I've ever had one. I think I've seen them at home. I see them you a lot. The price difference. Yeah, this is the thing. This is um, the Circle K we went to. Yeah. That was thirteen. Thirteen thousand. That was fourteen. How much is fourteen thousand? Fifty p. Just under fifty p. That was thirty six thousand. And it's tiny. Look at the size. The size equivalent of the Fiji was what seventy. Seventy thousand. Yeah, it was like three quid. I bet it tastes better than Lavi, but you can't tell the difference between that and aqua. Fina. That's accurate. Lavi has a weird taste to it. Aquafina just tastes like nice fresh water. This just tastes like. Do you know what I mean? It's nice, isn't it? Admit that it's nice. It is nice. It is nice. Still not worth the price. Nowhere near worth the price, but, but I'm going to keep the it's bottle. It's like a smidge. Because a it's, smidge nicer. I can pour water into it from other bottles, and it fits in my little handbag. Is it a smidge better? It's a smidge better. All right, Fiji, well done. Whatever you process your water through, well done. Now let's actually go, because we've just spent about 30 minutes talking about water. Uh, we're in Circle K for breakfast, or lunch, because it's actually 12 o'clock. I got a bao bun, and I actually can't get over the fucking size of them here. They're absolutely massive. I had a bite in the, the taxi over here. I bought a little smoothie drink, which is mango and banana, and I just poured it into the ice. So I can have an icy drink. And the ice costs 2000 which I cannot Eight even. Pence? Yeah, I can't really convert that. And my drink was 17,000, so 80p on a smoothie drink. The whole thing was 60,000. Two pound for lunch, just for that. And the bao bun that I wanted, they didn't have, so I got an egg bao bun. I'm a little unsure. But the whole, the whole bun is immac immaculate. Hello everyone, we are in the famous post office in Ho Chi Minh City, writing the postcard to, huh? I think they sell tape. Just writing a postcard, we're just right, we've got three different postcards that we're gonna write and we've got a box of stuff to send home. Um, the box has cost us 50,000, which is one pound 30. No, one pound eighty. I can't. I don't know, guys. I don't know the conversion of point. I don't know. Um, so I'm just writing this postcard first to my grandparents. Pack this massive box. Why does it look like we have so much stuff? <laughs> How's it going? Well, I'm writing good postcards. You disappointed in my postcard writing? Yeah. You can write over that map if you want. In time. Box there. Cup there, wrapped. Another mug there. Another cup there. Loads of papers and trinkets there. A layer of clothes. Another, another mug that I'll wrap up a bit more. But I've only got jeans left. It's not really soft, is it? Yeah, it's a good size box. Mango yogurt with some kind of nut on the top. I don't know what I've ordered, but it looks yummy. 
That is some sweet ass drink. It's three o'clock. We finished at the post office. Um, we ended up spending a lot of time trying to actually send the parcel um, and filling out all the papers and paying, and it ended up costing us over a hundred pounds to spend. To send. It's quite expensive. We knew it was going to be. We estimated like 60, like 70 quid, but then once we actually put all the extra stuff in, because we thought if we're going to send something home, let's send everything home, it ended up being a massive, heavy box. We've come to this little um, uh, bubble tea cafe that I came to yesterday or the day before, and I had like a mango milk tea, and it was really nice. My camera is balanced so bad. Come down here and get my laptop out and plan how we're going to get to the Mekong Delta, which is something we really want to do, um, and also how we're going to get to Cambodia. So we need to book that. Um, and we've just come in here and I ordered, I thought I ordered another mango milk, but I actually ordered a mango yogurt. It's got like cream and yogurt. It is delicious. It's a very sweet. This is called Gotcha. It's very, very cute. I really like it. And I've just looked outside, we've come in to sit down and it's chucking it down with rain. I don't think we've had the best of luck with weather here. We've been here for two days and it's just chucked it down with rain all day yesterday and today. So, and generally the weather's a little bit more, it's not as hot, like burning sun hot, but it's very humid. Um, the weather's just definitely different down here. So I'm gonna get out my laptop and we're gonna work out how we're getting to the next place. This is what you're balanced on. The tip of this water bottle, which I have to say, I'm quite, it's a skill. Um, good evening guys, we're now back in the hotel room. Um, as you guys saw, we went to the amazing post office here in Ho Chi Minh and it is just beautiful. I've been thinking for a bit, like as we've been traveling down Vietnam, that we've been picking up a few little like bits of souvenirs here and there. There's some things that we haven't picked up and some things that we had just because of like, some of the size of some things, it's just not possible for us to take them or send them home. Um, but we thought as we're gonna send the souvenirs home, we wanted to write some postcards. As we were sending stuff home, why don't we just actually go through some of the stuff we've packed and actually send stuff home because Dan flew here um, in jeans and a jumper. I flew in joggers and like a really like quite thick t-shirt so we were warm on the flight. But there's just no point us dragging them around everywhere. They're taking up so much room. We got rid of a load of t-shirts. I got rid of a pair of shorts. I really love them, but they're too big and they're falling down, which uh, is lovely. But um, it's just pointless me carrying a pair of shorts or clothes that I'm not taking around with me. I have a tiny pair of sandals that give me blisters. They're so painful that we thought we would just pack all of it in the box, send it home, and we bought a few starbucks mugs and some souvenirs that we like wrapped in all the stuff so we ended up sending a big box home so actually when we need to pack and leave saigon for our next place it should be better and easier to pack because we've got rid of a bulk a load of bulky stuff however i have been shopping i did go shopping and i bought some new clothes which i know now sounds ridiculous because i just got rid of clothes but i got rid of a load of big clothes like thick joggers t-shirts that I'm just not wearing and now that we've been here for a while I know what I need and I know what I've been liking walking around in and what I like to wear that I kind of knew what I needed to kind of replace them with I actually sent home three dresses that I just don't like and I, they're not comfortable I'm not wearing them and I went to this shop it's called Lieb I don't know we were walking down the street and I saw some stairs to this shop it was above the shop underneath and it just looked so cute i picked up four skirts from here and the amount i spent on this like it would cost me maybe triple quadruple at home in like zara and they're all so freaking cute and they're all on sale and if you spent over a million on the day that i went for some reason i went on the day that they were having their big sale you get a hundred grand off that sounds ridiculous saying that out loud. If you spend a million, you get a hundred grand off. Um, a million is like 35 pounds for reference. Um, 100,000 is like, well, three pound 50, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's the conversion. It's really weird. And I've barely got my head around it and we're now on our final few days in Vietnam now. 
Anyway, I picked up this green, gorgeous, gorgeous, like, holy shit. I love this skirt. Green, long, midi skirt. It's got that silky material. It's casual. I can wear it with trainers. I can dress up. It just, like, sits just like really nicely on me and I just I love it and it's so thin oh my god I just love it and I loved putting on it. it made me feel really nice so I really like it this was oh this was the one thing not on sale as I've just said about sale. this was 410 and then I got the exact same skirt in this kind of multicolored pattern which is also chef's kiss this was on sale for 470 so this was originally 600 gorgeous 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 i think i took a few pictures in the changing room that will pop up on screen um but in the next few vlogs obviously i'll start wearing them you'll see them then i don't wear skirts like it's not my thing i've never really liked skirts um especially at home i'm so like I'm not insecure in a skirt, but they're not my comfort zone. I wouldn't really wear shorts at home. I've really kind of got more comfortable as we've been here to wear shorts. Um, I think I just, I'm being a little more carefree and not overthinking what I'm wearing and just kind of wearing what's comfortable and what I like and trying not to overthink it. Not that I have body dysmorphia, but I definitely have a little sprinkle of it. So I'm trying to just kind of be nice to myself. Um, but I did get a skirt that's just like a normal skirt um and it's a very similar kind of the way it just kind of sits like that on me like the longer skirts um and we're in such hot countries that this is just perfect and it felt really nice on and i really liked it and this was 340 um and this kind of like a-line type skirt fits me really nicely it sits nice on my waist and fits me really well i don't like straight skirts it just doesn't fit my body type um and if you've heard of this shop or you're in vietnam and you've heard of it or if this is from another country and i have no idea um i got everything in a medium and it all pretty much fit me perfectly and the last thing i got isn't actually clothing it's a beach cover-up in the same material as the skirt it's like a really thin material um if i just do a little like like so and this is gorgeous. I really wanted a beach cover up. We've been to the beach twice now. Um, and in Vietnam, it's been a lot more kind of like short travel-y situation. Um, but as we move forward in the next few months to like Indonesia and when we go to Bali, uh, and when we go to Australia, there's gonna be a lot more beach opportunities. I feel like Bali, I'm just gonna be living in a bikini. Um, and a beach, a little beach cover up like this is perfect. They were so helpful in the shop. It was quite funny because I was literally asking them how do I tie this up because it made no sense because it wasn't tied in the shop. I was like, how do you do it? And there was like three, four girls helping me, um, and they were really great in there. And this was three hundred. So overall, I spent just around a million I think with the discount I think it was like 1.2 okay based on the fact the website is all in established in 2013 and it's only in Ho Chi Minh okay it's a Vietnamese brand and I love it I'm thinking of doing a filming everyday situation but currently not quite there with organizing that but it may happen and this may be part of it so I may be filming every day I'm not sure, I need to get my creative ducks in a row. Um, but I'm gonna have a shower, head to bed, and tomorrow we are having a really cool trip out, so I'm excited to share that. And I will give you a room tour, it's a very rattan filled room before we go and move on and get packing, and hopefully packing easier. So I will see you in my next video.